Hello and welcome to the Weekly Bull, the news show that tells you everything you need to know to be a well-informed student and American in under five minutes. I'm Carly Hoylman. And I'm Michael Sheets. Let's, Let's get, get started. started. The new city council unanimously approved a bill last week to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 80% before 2050. According to the Wall Street Journal, the measure plans to decrease emissions through actions such as planting trees and retrofitting buildings. The measure notes as an aside, quote, scientists have linked emissions to climate change. Yet in juxtaposition, the Board of Trustees at the City University of New York is debating to sell about $10 million in investments to fossil fuel companies. The move is criticized by a contingent of students, faculty, and lawmakers. Cooney Professor Gronowitz stated, quote, we don't want to invest our money into the destruction of the planet. The choice is left to trustees, as the school's financial consultation, Smith Jepson stated, these are trade-offs you might well accept. Last weekend, King students Ryan Skinner and Jordan Frankfurt claimed first place in NYU's inaugural Bitcoin-themed hackathon, HackBit, sponsored by Bloomberg, Blockchain, and Chain. The 24-hour event began Friday and rounded off Saturday evening with eight competing teams pitching ideas to a panel of judges. The task was to create an application using one of three Bitcoin application programming interfaces. Skinner and Frankfurt's team, To The Moon, created a Space Invaders game that awards tiny fractions of Bitcoin to high scorers. Judges included Bitcoin millionaire Yifu Guo and New York City venture capitalist Fred Wilson, who presented the first place prize of $1,500 in Bitcoin. Congratulations, Jordan and Ryan. Nestled between the awe-inspiring Brooklyn Bridge and bustling Wall Street, South Street Seaport's neighborhood-wide celebration, Out to Sea, has taken over the waterfront, according to the event's website. The festival, which features emerging talent in art, music, and craft, encourages native New Yorkers and visitors alike to walk the cobblestone streets and explore the unique neighborhood. The festival will take place again this weekend, November 22nd through the 23rd. And now for the top five OATKC Post of the Week. I didn't come to King's to be a housewife. A freshman discussing dating culture. So I guess some random stranger mailed my student ID back to school. I didn't even know I'd lost it. A tired student. Cocaine. I could really use some right now. If Cole Sprouse went to King's, he would be in Bonhoeffer. And then Dylan Sprouse would be in Lewis. Student one. Wait, has anyone held the door open for me this semester? Student two. Well, most of them are revolving. Those are the headlines. Remember to follow the Empire State Tribune on Facebook and Twitter for more top stories. Signing off, I'm Michael Sheets. And I'm Carly Hoylman. Thanks, Thanks for, for bearing, bearing the bull. bull.